metabolic workout mashup. All right, let's go. This is the off to the side. So far, John, it looks like you're the only one. Or it could be that I'm so late. Super set, okay? So, you're gonna need your band. It's gonna be a sumo side, side step with your band. And then the second move is going to be, where's it at? Oh, and a bicep curl. So I'm grabbing 20s. It's gonna be with your band. And we're gonna alternate sides. And then the other move is gonna be a side shooting burpee, which means we're shooting it out to the side, push up, 
center. Now listen, if that's too much, don't worry. Just step it back, go to the knees, push up, step it in. Okay, modify. Here we go. Grab your dumbbells. Now I'm gonna be watching my timer. Grab my 20s, have it ready. We get to rest after we're done with the three rounds. Okay. Starting it in five, so I can keep track. Two, one, go. Sumo squat with the bicep curl. And right after we're done, we go straight to the shooting burpee. You can have the band around your knees, underneath, or your ankle, it's up to you. Three rounds. Heart rate's getting up, we got 10 seconds. Keep curling. Done. Right to the side, shooting burpee. Down. Oh, I'm keeping my band on. Up. Out. Push up. In. Up. Fifteen seconds. Done. I'm going to try to band around my knee. Go.
Five seconds. Make it even. Done. Oh, get this off. Okay, get the idea now. Now is that 30 second recovery. All right. Oh. We're gonna do a dragon lunge and a row. Dragon lunge, row. Okay? Alternate your rows. I'm using 20s. And deadlift. Oh, no, no. So squat press. Lighter weight, though. It's gonna be squat press. So I'm using 15s. That one's explosive. Okay. 20 pounds, dragon lunge row. Here we go. Dragon lunge row. 20s. And you're right. I grabbed the wrong ones, Jennifer. Could you tell? Wow. Row. So if the right leg is behind, the right one rows. You're gonna get an isolation. If you don't wanna do the back lunge, or the dragon run lunge, do a back lunge. Stay low and row. You're gonna get more of the outer sweep if you do this dragon lunge, which is a big sweep behind. Straight leg, not locked out. A little different than a curtsy. Curtsy, we're upright. Done. Okay. Squat press. Go. Ten seconds. Done. Dragon lunge. Here we go. So you have a little isolation. Now you are getting lower back. If you don't want all the lower back, stay shallower and do this. Stay shallower. Okay? Leaning down is going to work your lower back. Done. Wait, no, keep going. This is the 50. Row. Row. Five more seconds. One more. Guess what? Round two. Please get your heart rate up. Okay, here we go. I feel like my butt's gonna hurt all over again. Deep. Last one. Up. Round three. Go. So it's an isolation on that legs and that lunge. You're holding it. If you need to separate it into two moves, go ahead. Do the lunge. Stand and then do the row.
Almost there. Done. Oh, lower back. I'm feeling it too. Here we go. We're gonna get a rest after this. Hang in there. This one is gonna get your heart rate up. Done. All right. You guys breathe while I tell you what's next. All right. Whoo. We're gonna do a front squat for the first one. And actually, I think I'm gonna change it though. to the plie, okay? Because we did enough with the other squat press. And then the next one's gonna be one dumbbell in front. I'm gonna use the 30. It's gonna be a burpee out, and if you wanna do a set of a burpee, pop squat, grab the dumbbell, swing, put it down, and pop squat instead. You can do that. All right, I'm gonna change these out for 30s. I'm right here. And so the 30s uh, is going to be for that front, that plie. And then the dumbbell swing. All right. All right, minutes up, holy cow. So we're gonna plie, toes are out. Hang the, put the dumbbells wherever you want on your sides. Put them up here. I'm gonna leave them right in front. Here we go. Down. Try not to lean down. I'm staying upright on this one. I wonder what it'd be like this. Huh. I don't know. Which one do you like better? I'm not sure. Me either. This is better on my hands, but not so comfy on my thighs. All right? Let's see. One more. Down. Up. Move two. Squat thrust, pick up that dumbbell, swing it to shoulder height. Here we go, hands down, out, in, swing, put it down. Thrust the hips forward on that dumbbell swing. Remember the pop squat way. If you don't wanna, done. Oh. It's our last superset, here we go. Let me try this. Oh, this is the most comfortable. Straight back. Don't lean forward. You're gonna use your lower back if you do. Ten seconds. Oh, anaerobic heart rate is up. Done. Oh, here we go.
Done. Oh yeah. Lower back. We're gonna have a rest. One minute after this. Here we go. Go. Oh, my legs. I think we're still sore. This hurts a lot more than it was. Twenty seconds. We're going to make it. Take your time with good form. Ten seconds. Nine. Done. Last round. Here we go. Oh, we're going to get back stretch after this. Down. It's our last super set. Thrust the hips forward on that swing. Let momentum. Pull it up. Let it come down. Stop it. Done. Oh, man. I have a pool of sweat. We're going to stretch. Yeah, head brush. Come on down to your butt. We need you to stretch. Heels forward. Get that lower back stretched out. Cross over your knee. It's important. You don't want to seize up. Now, thank goodness, the next circuit is not with heavy weights. It's actually light weights. Okay, right here. Let all the tension out. Returns forwards in a squat. Let the tension on that lower back. Oh, this feels good. Okay. Hang it down. All right, I'm going to put these away. I am telling you. Woo, I am dripping as I'm talking to you. This is not easy. Oh. I did grab five pound dumbbells. And threes. Okay. Threes and fives. Okay. Here I go. All right. Four moves. And then we'll repeat the four moves. Okay? I'm going to set my timer. We're going to stay on track on the... Oops, sorry. My bad. Wow, I'm still dripping. All right. Okay. 50 seconds, 10 seconds in between. Okay. I'll let you know what I'm grabbing when I'm grabbing it. I'm going to grab the fives first. All right, let's go. Let's get her done, man. I'm kind of not looking forward to the next circuit. There we go. It's going to be four alternating uppers again. Lean down, upper, 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 crescent. Hold the arms and guard, crescent. You can do a full or a full, uh, half. This is it. Lean down, flat back, go. Four, three, two, one. Cross hit, center line. Mm -hmm. 
John. Okay. We're gonna front push out. Wait. Front raise. Push out. Front right. No. How did I do that? Back kick. Yeah. Out. Up. Out. That was it. It was a typo on my part. I knew they didn't seem right. I put front raise. It's front cross. <laughs> I put it backwards because I'm talking. Up, cross, up, cross, back, back, up, up. Back, back, okay. Knee front kick, cross and a right hook. So, knee, kick, cross, Hook, kick, cross, hook. Knee, kick, cross, hook. If you want to stay, cross, hook. Knee, kick, cross, hook. So you can stay parallel or step front. I'm going to stay parallel, cross, hook. Hook, follow through on that arm. On the elbow. Hook, knee, kick, cross, hook. Knee, kick, cross, hook. All right. Two oblique knee and two side bend. Bend. Woo. One side only. Knee, knee. One, two. Keep those dumbbells right here. Right here on the side bed. these weights. 
on your hands. It's definitely gonna get your heart rate up done. All right. Oh, not to mention you're working biceps when you're doing those punches. All right, knee, kick, cross, and a hook. Go. Knee, kick, cross to the side, and a hook to the front. Knee, kick, cross, hook. Work that core. Sometimes I forget the things that I write down because I do them a week in advance sometimes. So I can't remember this week from last week from what's coming up ahead. And sometimes I get a typo and I'm looking at it going, what did I do there? I don't understand it. But this shows you it's not perfect. Woo! And neither am I. Done. Oh, yeah, I don't get to rehearse this. All right, other side, oblique, two, go. Oh man, I don't know if I wanna do these after yesterday's core, oh my gosh. back to strength and this is intentional because see that was more cardio based lighter weight I'm gonna use the step only for an elevation if you want now we're not using it for any fancy stop working it's just for an elevation make sure your blocks are on secure no wobbling and it's not gonna slip all right again you don't have to use it I'm gonna use it as a bench I'm gonna use it as a bench and I'm also gonna be using it as um, a box jump. So if you don't wanna do box jumps, anytime we're doing a hop on the step, hop off the step, you're gonna do the same thing. Push-ups can be done on an elevation instead of on a decline. You know how to modify now burpees, walk it out, walk it in, okay? We got 10 reps, that's it, 10 reps of each exercise, okay? So we're gonna do hands on the, we're gonna squat thrust, hands on the bench, we're gonna do a tricep push-up, Jump on and off, okay? 10 reps, here we go. Hands on the bench, jump the legs out, tricep. Hands in, on, off, two, tricep. Modify it if you want, three. Four. Five. Eight. Two more. Nine. One more. Okay, chest press. We have a single, single, bolt. All right, I'm using 20s. Put the dumbbells together, roll back. When you're in position, Press them up together. Here we go. One. And then double. Single, single, double. Alternate leads if you want. Two. 
two, three, three, four. Good form, five. Six. Seven. Now we're doing chest flies. Same thing. Single, single, double. Oh boy. I'm going to stick with these 20s. Why not? All right. Open and close. Roll it down together. Here we go. One. Just lower it out to the side and then fold. I alternate my lead. You don't have to. Don't lock out the arm. Just let that weight drop out to the side. If you feel any strain or pull in your shoulder, drop your weight. Four. Four. Now both. All right. Five. Five. Six. Six. Oh. This is a challenging weight. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Woo. You feel it more on that single. Nine, nine, double, one more, ten, oh, ten, get it up, double, oh, push it together, lower it down onto your lap and roll up, oh my goodness, oh lordy lords, all right, whoo, ha, whoo ha, one, gotta do, ha, burpee, and a butt kick, okay? Um, butt kick is just, if you can spring it up. If you can't, just do a pop squat. But again, we're mixing burpees with um, push-ups and shoulder, uh, large muscle groups, okay? Here we go, hands are on the bench for this burpee. Okay, out, in, up, two. We're not pushing up, thank goodness, three. Four. Two more. 
One more. Done. That is bad. Man, it gets a heart rate up. Here we go, our last 10. Oh, all right. Single, single, double. That's right, we're doing underhand row. Forty-five degree angle. Now, if your back is really burning you bad, you can do your rows just like this. Less. Just do less hanging down, but make sure your back is straight. All right, grabbing twenties. It adds up three. It's actually two rows each arm for ten, so it's twenty reps. Here we go. Single, single, double. Two, pull it back, two, double. Three, three, four, four, five. I could have gone heavier, poo. I'm switching it up right now. Six. Seven, eight, ten. Okay, so I'm going to do two more. Because I stopped. Here we go. Yes. I'm bummed. I could have done heavier on that one. I must have gotten stronger somehow. All right, guess what? We have our core Chivatas. I'm gonna put this back because my camera was leaning on it. Okay, put your stuff away. All we have is core left. Okay, <laughs> each one is going to be eight rounds. Yeah, that's right, each exercise, eight rounds before we move on. All right? Uh, Now, okay, just looking. Set my timer. You're gonna need light dumbbells. I have five pound dumbbells. That's it. Five. It's only 20 seconds, remember. All right, so we have 24 rounds straight back to back. Help me to keep on track if I, if I remember to go on to the next one too soon. We have to do eight rounds. I'll try to talk through it. It's a weighted X crunch, right side only. I'm using five pounds. X crunch, make an X right here. One, two, this arm stays out at the X, underneath your weight. Now modifiers, watch me, behind the head, no weight. Cross it over, tap it out. Cross it over, tap it out. Okay, that's round one. Other side. Take your 10 second rest, enjoy it. Now this one, go. Oh man, did you feel that shoulder? Yeah. I don't quite let it touch the bottom. Uh, I keep a constant contraction on it. So I'm not letting my foot touch the bottom or my dumbbell because it's only 20 seconds. Cross it over, done. Make sure you stay in your X, okay? Legs are wide, arms are in an X. Go. This is round three? Yes. Okay. Evens are on the left, odds are on the right. <laughs> Done. Oh, I'm feeling it already. <laughs> Man, yesterday's tour, I put a couple of double stars on that one. I liked it. Woo! All those reps. I know, Elizabeth, you probably had some mind wandering going on. 
I did mention you about not thinking about your laundry and dishes and uh, what you're gonna make for dinner. Sometimes <laughs> you need someone to remind you not to wander. And I'm I'm one to talk. Done. <laughs> Is this five? Yes. Okay. It had to be an odd number, and I didn't think it was seven. Because it's only 20 seconds. We're not going to alternate. We want to burn it out. Again, bend your knee. If you're feeling anything in your lower back done, bend your knee and bring your knee in and cross it over. Here's round six, and then we go to the next one. Go. Oh, look, I did the knee. I didn't even think about it. Cross it up with that hand over to that foot. Reach for it. Put it back down diagonally, both arm and leg. Done. We're on seven now. Ah. Oh. Go.
I purposely have us doing eight rounds to burn it out. So that way, if we were to do 20 seconds of each and keep repeating it that way, we would not have burnt out. See, you barely have enough time to recover and you're back at it. Two more rounds of this. Two more rounds. Go. Now next week starts TMC9. Done. Oh, it's a brand new start. Oh. Whoa. Last round. Go. Now we have one more Tabata left. Don't forget, I was Mrs. Late Pants today. Okay, stay on your back. We're gonna do a crossover knee crunch. If you want a crossover reverse curl crunch, lifting the back knee, you can lift the back knee. If you want to cross it over like this, cross it over like that. Go. One side only. Lift that bottom knee as you crunch. Squeeze at the top. Squeeze at the top. I don't know what happened to my music, but I'm gonna make sure we get back. Hang on. All right. Other side. You decide if you want to do crossover this way or if you want to lift the bottom leg and crunch upper and lower together. Tuck the hips. Roll it. Roll it in. Done. Round three. Oh, this one I won't even have to keep track. We should end up exactly eight left, so. Go. Control that crunch. Don't rest at the bottom. Squeeze at the top. As soon as you go down and go back up. Don't take any breaks. Constant tension. You're pushing. That leg crossed over is gonna create tension. You can also do no leg crossed over if you want, or like I said, the other version is crossing over. Oh, low battery. Hang on. Low battery. Go. That's low battery, guys. Just keep going. I've gotta figure out how to switch my iPad cases. Switch. Hi, Felipe. Hi, Mary. Good morning. Morning. Go. My battery is starting to go on this iPad. I got to figure out how to switch the cases out so that I can film with the other, it, I need that case that's on this, this iPad. That's what it is, I just gotta switch the cases. I don't like that I have to get off after exactly one hour and start hitting okay to low battery. Oh, I am feeling this for sure. Everywhere, my upper abdominals were already so sore. Oh, I think we have two more rounds. Five, four. Go. Squeeze. Crunch the upper with it. One more round, I think. Yep. Oh. It's a little move, but man, it's a strenuous one. Go. Go. 
It's past intention. Your foot is pushing against your leg, your knee, as you try to bring it up. It's resisting each one. Crunch the upper with it. Exhale. Done. Oh, thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Oh, my abs were already so sore. This was not fair. Arms stretch overhead. If, as I stretch my arms overhead, I can feel my core. So sore. Hold it right here. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Hold your hands together and your feet together and make like a little, a little arch. A little arch, pulling your hands towards your feet. Make like a C, a C curve. Okay, hold it there. You're gonna feel on the outside. Now make the C curve to the other side. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we need a lower back stretch. I know, I felt it too, trust me. All right, I'm gonna hang on to the bottom of my foot and really push my knee in. Now I'm gonna straighten my knee up like this to the ceiling, push my knee into my chest. Five, six, seven, eight. Now extend that leg, hang on to it, pull it towards your chest however far you can. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hang on to that ankle, tilt it out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Keep this hip on the floor. And then cross it over, change hands. Now you can bend your knee here also and just pull your knee down or extend your leg if you want a little more extension. Now reach the opposite arm in the opposite direction. Look over your shoulder. Look over your shoulder. This should feel very good for your spine. Two, two. Okay, swing it back. Let's do the other side. This is great for relieving all the tension in your back. Hold it here. If you want to hang onto the bottom of your foot, hold it here. Six, seven, eight. Straighten it and have it pointed to the sky. Your foot is pressed upward. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now straighten the knee out. Hang on to your ankle, calf, whatever it is, and pull it towards your chest. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hang on to your ankle if you can and let it go right off the side. Keep this hip on the ground. Three, four, five, oh shoot, six, seven, eight. Okay, 5% battery, keep going, other side. Hold it over, cross it over, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, roll it up. We're gonna have to be done here very fast because I have 5% battery left. Hold it, two. Okay, one more final little, this feels so good on the back. All right, you guys, so this was a totally different metabolic than last Tuesday. Tuesday was all pure strength and reps, switch. And this one was mix up, mash of cardio, heavy, light weights, body weight. Yeah, it was totally mashed up. So I'm gonna call this my metabolic mashup. All right, to your feet, natural squat, hold it here, praying hands. And ready, one, two, three. Up and out. There we go, we're done. That's a wrap, girlfriend. Thanks for joining me. All right, you guys, I want all your feedback. Don't forget, have 